Percent dissociation tells you how much of a weak acid or weak base breaks apart. To find the percent dissociation of a weak acid, you do the concentration of H over the original concentration of the acid times 100. Remember that your concentration of H is going to be X when you solve a weak acid ice table. So in this problem, we're finding the percent dissociation of acetic acid. We're going to start off just like we did when we calculated the pH of a weak acid. The only difference is the ending. So I'm going to set up my dissociation equation and my Ka expression. Remember when you're doing your Ka expression, it's products over reactants. I know my starting concentration is one molarity. Plugging my equilibrium line into my Ka expression, and the Ka was given. Remember, I can ignore the minus x since these are weak acids. And finally, I constant calculate my concentration of X to be 0 0.00424. So to find my percent dissociation, I'm going to plug it into the equation on top. So my H over my original concentration, which was 1 molarity, times 100. So notice it's exactly the same as when we were calculating the pH of a weak acid except once you get your x, you plug it into the percent dissociation equation instead of the pH equation. Go ahead and pause the video and find your x on your own. Restart when you have percent ionization. So in this problem, we have just a weak acid. Remember that if you have just a weak acid and you don't know what the acid is, you can just use HA. And that's our general formula of a weak acid. Set up your Ka expression. Fill out your ice table. and plug it into your Ka expression. Ignore the minus x. Solve for x, which is your hydrogen ion concentration. And in this case, I get 0 0.0908. So 0 0.0908 over 0.55 because concentration of H over original concentration. Times 100, and I get my percent to be problem it's a little bit different because they gave us our original concentration and the percent dissociation and we need to find our Ka. In order to find our Ka we have to know everything in the equilibrium line of the ice table. So since they gave us the percent dissociation we're going to start with that equation. I know my percent and I know my original concentration. I need to find my concentration of H. So my concentration of H is 0 0.0037. If I set up my equilibrium expression and my dissociation equation, yeah. 
setting up our ice table. We know our I. We also know our change. So since we know that hydrogen is 0 0.0037, that goes under hydrogen, it goes under our lactate, and we know that 0 0.1 minus 0 0.0037 is our lactic acid concentration. So now that I have my equilibrium line, I can plug that into my Ka expression and find Ka. Whenever you're solving a problem, if it tells you to calculate the Ka, remember you have to have that equilibrium line filled out. They're either going to give you the pH or they're going to give you the percent dissociated. So you can find X and fill in the rest of the equilibrium line. Make sure that you don't ignore the minus X if you know what X is. So my Ka is 1.42 times 10 to the negative fourth. and no units on my Ka. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one, which is very similar to the last problem. On this problem, you should have gotten C 4.08 times 10 to the negative fifth. If you did, then that's the end of the video. If not, then Keep going and see where you went wrong. So again, we don't know the weak acid, but we know that it's 2% dissociated. So you should have filled in your dissoci percent dissociation equation and found concentration of H, which in this case was 0.002. Now setting up our ice table, filling in our X, which was 0 0.002. And finally plugging that into our Ka expression. And solving it is how we get C.